This is St Michael's Mount in Cornwall in UK. This is a tidal island, so when the tide is pretty high, you have to take this boat to get there. I think the difference between this one and the French one is this one is smaller one. This one is like a daughter, and the French one is like a mother. So this San Michael Mount, this place it actually belongs to a family, and they still live here. The owner is called Saint Aubin's family, and they still live here. I think they have a very complicated agreement with National Trust. So in 1950s, um, they not really donated or gave this church, this castle to National Trust. They have agreements. They still live here, and all of the belongings still belong to this family. But tourists can come and visit this place. You need to walk up to the hill and all the way. It can take you to this castle. It's a bit of walk, but it's okay on a sunny day. I could imagine when it's wet, it's a little bit difficult and a bit slippery. But I'm sure this amazing view will make you feel, oh, this is very worth it. And this side is their garden bit, <clears throat> so you can visit the castle and also visit the garden. It's really really stunning view. If you look at this in the middle, there is a path. This is a tidal island, so when there is no water, you can actually walk it. And when the tide is very high, um, you have to take a boat. In charge of the Grenadier Guards at uh, Land's End. He was in Parliament for 30 years. This is him with the British Prime Minister in the 60s, Alec Douglas Hume. He had the shortest term as Prime Minister at that time. I think the record's been beaten recently a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> and this picture over here was his golden anniversary. Sorry, yeah. I've yeah, I don't, sorry, I've got to keep my hands in my pockets. <laughs> The little boy in the front of the pitch there, at the age of 13 or 14, is James, Lord St. Levin. He lives in the castle today. He's now 74. Wow. Wow.